Hey Man of Church, this is our final day of the coming hope. We've looked at different parts of Christ's coming and the hope therein. To wrap things up, I want to look at what the angels told the shepherds and what it means for us on a day-to-day -day basis. Luke 2, 11, For today in the city of David there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. We can all have bad days. That's inevitable. Sometimes we even have seasons when things really don't go the way we want. Now, if I'm being honest, I'm not a pro at handling those moments all the time. But I do want to share with you one of the greatest things I've learned to do when these times come. At the end of the day, when I've done all I could, I come home and I thank God that I am saved and I'm going to heaven. That's possible because Christ the Lord is my Savior. Sounds simple, right? That's because it is. But it doesn't mean it's any less profound. If you really want that to hit, even on your worst days, think about what it really means. Let's review. I'm a sinner who deserves nothing but hell for all my sins. Instead of judgment, God gave me grace and decided to save me. Not even on my own initiative, but as an act of God. More than that, I'm not just spared, but I am granted the righteousness that Jesus earned and I didn't. Oh, and by the way, when I'm obedient to God, he promised to reward me for all of it. That's nuts. The things God gave us are so incomprehensibly incredible. It's amazing. And if you're in the same boat as me, then you can understand that this reality, this hope we have in God, overwhelmingly tops everything that could ever come against us. It is no small thing to declare I am saved and going to heaven. Because no matter what life throws, no matter how hard it gets, I'm not working to earn my salvation. I don't have to perform to win God's love. I'm not at jeopardy for my soul to be separated from God because of what Jesus did for me and he has my faith. And all that's true for you who believe. You can take confidence that no matter what can happen to your body here on earth, and despite all the things that could ever come, at the end of it all, you will be with Jesus, your healer, your savior, your God. When you think about these things, when you bring your attention back to the hope we have in Jesus, it kills so much of the pressure. Paul put it like this, Romans 8.18, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is to be revealed to us. This is the blessed hope that we have while we wait for his return. One day he will set everything right. One day your sufferings will cease. One day he's coming back. And you might get called home before he does, but either way, you're going to be with him. And that's the hope of God. That's the hope of Christmas. Man of Church, I pray that this has been encouraging for you. May your eyes always be on him and the hope that he brings. Merry Christmas.